This is The Motorbike Show. There's nothing better than a day out in the country, surrounded by large chunks of old-fashioned ironmongery. Brooklyn's museum in Surrey has got it all. Planes, cars, even the odd missile. I'm here, of course, for the rockets on two wheels. But first, a word about the other love of my life. I want to talk about marriage, right? I've been married to my darling wife for 20 years. And every night, I climb the stairs with expectation. Why? Well, I can sit in bed and read my classic bike mag. But what's it really like to be a motorcycle journalist? Well, I'm here at Brooklands to find out. This is Tun Up Day. For the second year in a row, bike enthusiasts from all over have come to show off their classic bikes and take some of them up the Brooklyn's famous test hill. What they don't realise yet is that today I'm going to be tested as well to find out if I've got what it takes to be a motorcycle journalist. I'm going to be working for Classic Bike Guide and I need to find the editor, Gary Pynchon, to get my first assignment. Only trouble is breakfast took two hours, so I'm late. God, he's over there, I found him. He seems to be doing my job. Gary? Gary? S sorry, sorry. That's... Where have you been? Uh, <laughs> uh, nice had, a, had a bit of breakfast. Oh, am, am I really that late? Well, yeah, I'm in the middle of an interview, so. Can oh, we... sorry, sorry, That's man. Right. Sorry, he's sorry. Coffees, doesn't he? <laughs> so, what, what? Television people. Don't think that got off to a very good start, did it? Really? Oh well, I'll just wait here and, and, and well, just watch. I feel like a naughty schoolboy watching the headmaster and his prefect. What's the punishment going to be this time? Six cylinders of the best, sir? What we're going to do is like maybe find half a dozen really nice bikes. Right. Henry's top six from Turn Up Day. Unlike normal, where I just sort of talk drivel, I've actually got to get specifics, haven't I? Is that why I've got this? You told me to bring this with a ring binder on. Yeah, that's good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed you remember. Thanks, mate. You've got one with a ring yeah, binder yeah. on. Look at that. Hey? One works the other way, though. And at the end of the day, what do you want me to produce? Uh, like a 1,500 word story for our magazine. That was a plan, wasn't it? That's what we talked about. 1,500 yeah. words. 1,500 words, six stories, and it's all got to be spelled properly. Where's my assistant? There are loads of fantastic looking bikes around here, but none of them seem to have owners. They must be off having coffee. Wish I was. At last, one man and his bike. This beautiful Triumph flat tracker was built by Jeff in his garage. Now all I've got to do is listen and write at the same time. Now Jeff, right, yes. you've got to treat me well because I've got to write things down and I'm not very quick. I haven't learned shorthand or anything. Now look, slowly tell yeah. me about your beautiful Triumph. Okay, it's a T140. T140. Yeah, it's a 1973. Yeah. Bought back from America um, about the 90s. Yeah. It's got belt primary drive, yeah. centred racing clutch, yeah. rework head, yeah. the exhaust headers we made out. Ease the throttle, Jeff. You're talking too fast. Scramble seat. Yeah. I think I can spell scramble. S E A T. S H 1 T. Yeah. Is that how it rides? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see when it goes up the hill later. That reminds me, the hill. That's where the real action is. They've been pushing bikes up this test track since 1923, and it ain't got any easier. In fact, it's almost as hard as writing for Classic Bike Guide. I know I should be working, but you can't work when this is going on, can you? I hope Gary ain't around. Welcome back to Brooklyn's, the birthplace of British motorsport. I'm learning how to be a magazine reporter and they've thrown me in at the deep end. Gary Pynchon, the editor of Classic Bike Guide, has asked me to do six short pieces on bikes and their owners and I've only done one of them. Scramble seat. Yeah. I think I can spell scramble. 
Like my first girlfriend used to say, I'm easily distracted. Oh, Gary, hello. I, I was just having a look at the bikes, You're mate. Busy. You're yeah, really I busy. I I I've, um, I've identified a couple of bikes that I'm after. OK. Well, best time to get them now, because they're just coming back from the hill run. Is it? OK, yeah. I, I really am working, I promise, mate. Okay. I haven't been taking any reviews at all. Come on. Yeah, OK. Thanks, right. Gary. Cheers. The only way to get myself out of this hole is to find something really great to write about. How about this? A beautiful BMW CAF racer and its owners, Mark and Louise. Gary's going to love this. Mark, tell me about the bike. Slowly. It's, it's a 1983 BMW Hang. R80. Hang on. OK. 1983 <laughs> BMW R80. After you've got used to the tyres, it's... Lovely. Louise, would you contemplate ever getting your licence and actually beating him into the first bend? I would love to. <laughs> he wouldn't let me go on the road. <laughs> <laughs> not, not if she beat me. I'm quite competitive. I was into scooters. I've, wasn't I before A5. you? And Yeah, the A5, dare I mention. Club. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's enough, Louise. OK. <laughs> Two down, four more to go. But look at this, a 1961 AJS CAF racer in pristine condition. And its owners look just as good. I'd better not get sidetracked. Forgive me. Yeah, OK. But normally, there are people of my venerable age <laughs> in uh, classic bikes like this. It is a joy for me to see you two here with right. a bike like that. <laughs> How did you guys get into it? I mean, you should still be in Ninja Turtle gear, shouldn't well, you? you? On a race <laughs> rep. When, you know, when I was a kid, I, I had ZXRs and stuff. And um, it, it gets out of your system. My dad was, he's from Enfield, and he was a rocker in the 60s. And so I grew up on stories of traditional bikes. And I've just, and they're, they're beautiful. They have heart and soul, and they're living, breathing things. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Did the bikes come first, <laughs> or did you two come first? I sort of had to get to the bikes, because if I wanted to spend time with him, I had to be outside where that was. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it had been sitting in a garage since 75, so I had a little bit of work to do in the back garden, but, yeah, she lost out a good two years of her. Uh, so I'm just going to get my own now. Of my time. You've got to get your own. That's what it's about. It's an yeah. inclusive sport. Yeah. Classless. Doesn't matter how rich or poor you are, you can get involved. I haven't actually written any of that down at all. <laughs> That's, uh, brilliant, brilliant. Great yes. stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think I'll probably better make that up. <laughs> KX85 Green. It's five o'clock. Everyone's started to leave, and I've only got three interviews. Gary's not going to like this. Oh. Gary! Um... So, how'd you go on? I've got uh, three. OK. So I haven't exactly. done that well, have I? No, no, not really. But it's a start. It's a start. I'll try a bit harder next time. <laughs> Probably not. I'm not very good. All I can say is I've had a glorious day at Gary's expense here. And actually, I have learned that it isn't just having a nice time. You do need to pay attention, which obviously I haven't. Yeah.